NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, that Obama has called for and signed, stipulates that even American citizens can now be uh, targeted by the military, picked yes, up, and a prison in false history. The CIA is funneling information in to Hollywood. Hollywood is putting out, out in the movies and the population believes. All right, so look, here's the deal. They have been desensitizing us since we were born. And I'll give you some examples. Let's start with the big one. Let's start with words we hear all the time and never even think about. Let's start with the word entertainment. To entertain. What does that mean? To bind or hold. To bind or hold what? An audience's attention. Okay, now let's take the word Hollywood. Where does that come from? Well, Hollywood comes from the holly tree. And the ancient Druids, back in the day, used to take the holly tree, make wands to weave spells, cast spells, or channel spells. And when they needed help, they would consult the magis or the mediums of the day to help channel their spells to the population. We'll cut to today. What do we have in our houses? We have these black boxes. What are they called? TVs. But if you stop and you say the word, tell a vision, television. And when you turn on that television, what do you get? What's the first thing that pops up? A list of channels. And when you turn on those channels, what's on those channels? Programming. They are programming you. They've been programming your whole life. You don't even know it. They do it with your music. They do it with your TV. They do it with your movies. They do it with your games. They have been programming us and programming you since you were little and you don't even know it because you don't even question it. The dangerous you know, edges here are that he's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts, and it could be that while unemployment and uh, the, the economy worsens, he could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that is the that is if, our if, job. Yeah, that is if our you look job. at the issue, that is if, our if, job. If, our if, job. I received some hate mail from citizens of Gotham. Let's see what sort of wisdom they have to impart on me. Yeah, I think masks are for whips and also cause breathing problems. Well, yes, you know, except for all the doctors and nurses and firemen and everyone else that you call heroes who wear them all day, sometimes for 15 to 20 hours. Okay, let's see. Dear Bane, if you wear a mask, it's because you live in fear and I am not afraid. I look like I live in fear of anything? I'm wearing this mask for you! The people of Gotham, who I can't help but notice are not social distancing. I'm not afraid of getting sick. I'm afraid of getting you sick and being responsible for your untimely deaths. Now I have to go all over town administering my miracle cure to everyone everywhere. This TV show begins in the year 2020 after a virus eliminated most of the world's population. In season two, it goes into a little backstory showing us the gradual decline of America after the virus takes hold. The Federal Pandemic Agency has released new guidelines for combating the emerging viral outbreak. Then they start showing us exactly what we are seeing on the news today. Make sure to use plenty of hand sanitizer. And wash your hands often. We see empty grocery store shelves. Safety first. Elites going into bunkers. And even the President of the United States doesn't make it out. If you find this hard to believe, us being wired to their liking, 
Just look at what music you listen to and tell me you can't see where the majority of your personality comes from. I can assure you, you dress, talk, do as they do for the most part. Now it doesn't matter if it's music, movies, games, sports, you fall under one of these categories for which you have already been labeled under through a data mining super quantum computer. Computer, the D-Wave 2X, the most advanced quantum computer in the world. Far-fetched, I think not. You have been shaped and molded to their liking ever since the day that you were born. And it doesn't end there. They also show us what's to come through predictive program, like you just saw in The Dark Knight Rises and thousands of other forms of entertainment. You see, it's no conspiracy device being played out the way that it is. They've already showed us in movies, movies like Contagion, Utopia, the American version. Speaking of which, the vaccine Utopia was the virus. The British version of Utopia, the vax made everyone sterile, meaning no one could procreate and have kids, like the movie Children of Men that took place in the year 2026, where there are no children on Earth. Coincidence? I think not. Just as in Utopia, they used the comic book to put the pieces of the puzzle together, as I use movies to put the pieces together. Now as you can see from the beginning of the video, the CIA has their foot in the entertainment industry for this very reason. Call it what you want, and I'll call it how I see it. If the choice is yours, come out of her or she will consume you. Janus consists of a protein and an amino acid, independently of each other, the harmless. But when they're brought together in the subject, they act as a genetic trigger that prevents chromosomal division. The cell targeted can no longer replicate itself and is thereby rendered useless. The change is permanent and hereditary. And which cells are targeted? Those that control fertility, Becky. The purpose of Janus is to sterilize. The purpose of Janus is to sterilize the entire human race. We predict the population will plateau at 500 million in just under 100 years. By then, normal breeding rates should resume, but on a planet that will feel you're fucking insane. The CIA is funneling information in to Hollywood. Hollywood is putting out, out in the movie. Get the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the ball. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. <laughs> you and I are not in the big club. By the way, it's the same big club they used to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people. White collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue. These are people of modest means. Continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't care about you at all. At all. At all. Man. You know? And nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on, the fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it.